Yo, what is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time it is you're watching this video. But a big thank you to everybody who's like recently subscribed to me. The channel's doing absolutely amazing. Thought I was pretty much a dead YouTube channel, you know, making videos about COD for way too long. Even though, yeah, that game's um, yeah completely garbage now. But I fell in love with this game, which we're going to be talking about today, the first Descendant. Absolutely amazing game. By no means is it perfect, but I'm having a lot of fun. People seem to be enjoying my videos. Um, so, yeah, if we could get, I don't know, 10 likes on this video, that would be very, very humbling for me. So, yeah, if you want to see more First Descendant, if you enjoy my content, please leave a like if you're new here and subscribe. So, today, guys, what we're going to talk about is the First Descendant. There's been a few issues. I've made videos about them. I'm not really going to talk about the issues in details on this video, but I've got videos on my channel Go and watch those videos. I've actually listed every single problem, in my opinion, what there is with the game. So if you don't think there's any problems, if you are unaware of like what's kind of going on, there's a video on my channel. You can go and watch that, and we go through every single problem. It even has timestamps in the video, which is something I very rarely use um, on my channel because I just waffle on normally <laughs> about stuff like this. So basically, the first descendant, there's a hot fix. I saw this. On the Twitter today, um, it kind of links you to go on the uh, Nexon website. And what I actually like about their patch notes, because you don't normally get developers doing patch notes and then telling you why they've done them. They just give you, here's the patch notes. There you go. Well, Nexon, a bit of a round of applause. You've actually given us patch notes, and then they've put it down as, like, director's comment. So it's kind of good to see what their thoughts and opinions are regarding their game themselves because again us as players we can think totally different to what the development team thinks so it's great what they're doing in my opinion so basically guys there's been loads of various buffs tweaks not really nerfs as such but again the majority of this fix is for like minor problems so we're going to go through them all then at the end of the video i'm going to kind of give you my comments and stuff so we're trying to keep it as informative as we can so basically, there's been contact... Well, sorry. This is available right now, guys. So they should have patched this by the time you all play the game. It's on every single platform, as you can see there, guys. You know, all the platforms the game's on. It's on every single platform. So there's content um, improvements. So they've added, and people have actually talked about this, um, that they've added the start public operation function so, in other words, public matchmaking to the infiltration operations hard. So, I know a lot of people haven't got to hard mode yet. They've not grinded enough to actually, you know, do the entire game. But once you get on hard mode, you're going to actually be able to publicly matchmake some of the most difficult content on the game. Um, so, that's an absolutely brilliant um, thing they've done here. The director's comment, they said the dev team acknowledges the community's concern about the monotonous patterns of name monsters and strives to enhance them. Now, what they're talking about is the orbs, where it's not so bad, some of the bosses where you can just shoot whatever you want of the orbs, but then you get others where you have to do them in a certain order, you have others where you have to do them in a certain order, then they're shielded. It's not really a fun mechanic. The, the devs have actually put down in the comment here, I'm not really going to go through and read everything like for like. But basically, what the developers have said on their notes is that, yeah, okay, we hold our hands up. We're going to kind of remove everything. So you just shoot the orbs now until they think of a better mechanic and system of how to make those boss fights more um, engaging. Um, so that's great to see. Um, they're not really going to... Well, sorry, they've put here, increase the quantity of rare basic materials dropped from encrypted vaults by threefold. The elite vulgus that appear in field missions and infiltration operations will drop them now too. Kind of a quality of life thing. Um, so with encrypted vaults, unless you, you use in Enzo, they're really difficult, some of them, especially the ultra-precise ones. I can't do them, and I've got really good reactions. I know I'm like a dinosaur, but... Yeah, trying to do those without Enzo's. Pretty, pretty challenging, guys. More challenging than some of the um, Colossus fights. But anyway, um, so they've reduced the... What's this? Hold on, bear with me. They've reduced the 290 second to 260 second um, occupation. So, again, just quality of life things here. There's nothing really to, um, you know, go over about. 
Now, what I do want to talk about is that on PC, they've made loads of optimization problems, which is great. Something I've kind of been critical about before, saying, why does my £74,000 PC run at 70 FPS? Doesn't make really any sense. Um, so, they've kind of sorted that. The Descendants, the fixed various options, like there was a bug in the game where you was down but not out, as DMBO stands for. Um, you could mess around with your modules and actually take one off it and put you in a down state and then you literally were screwed with that Descendant. There was a workaround where you could actually just close down the game, you know, hard hard close the game, control, alt, delete, whatever, um, and then log back into the game. And then on, then on the main menu system, you just had to pick another Descendant. If you only had one Descendant, you were screwed. Um, so they're going to sort that out. Uh, well, sorry, they've sorted it out, which was done really, really quickly. Kind of, yeah, surprising. There's a few, you know, changes here to the modules, um, the equipment, some some bugs with that, some some stuff going off with the dungeons. Um, now, what I want to talk about, and this is going to probably be the title of the video. To be fair, I should have done this first. I'm an absolute moron, but if you subscribe to me. You'll get used to the point that I'm a moron. I kind of don't really script my videos. I should script them, maybe. I don't know. But over the years I've been doing YouTube, people just like me talking straight from the heart, so to speak, um, and not scripting things, so I sound like a professional. <laughs> but anyway, so this director's additional comment right at the end of the patch notes is brilliant because I was terrified that they were going to change, you know, and they were going to nerf everything. I thought they were going to go down the hell Helldivers route and just nerf everything, and then you get bored because everything's just garbage. My my philosophy has always been in video games, if something's really powerful, make other things really powerful. But it, it tends to go the other way. Um, so it has come to our attention that the community is worried about possible nerfs to the Tamer and G Glaze um, infinite magazine builds. Now, both of those, you can melt bosses, but again, you've got to have all the mods on and the modules and... Have everything right to be able to do that. Um, so obviously, you see a few YouTubers doing it, and not so much abusing it, but you know, having the best build for a certain boss battle. They make it look really easy. Then obviously, people are going to go on and try to replicate that. It's not as easy to you know replicate as what these YouTubers do because they're extremely gifted at the game. There's maybe ten percent of the normal player base who are as good as these YouTubers um, who make all these amazing, fantastic build videos. Um, so I don't think it's as big of a problem as what YouTube would kind of make it appear to be. Yes, the Tamer is the best weapon, um, arguably, in the game. I wouldn't say that it, it straight out is, but it's definitely up there, guys, especially because it's only a um, rare weapon, so a purple weapon, not an ultimate weapon. It kind of makes it easier to get the best rolls on it through the you know games and system on you know how, how you upgrade and enhance your weapon abilities. Um, and the rolls or whatever, you know, min-maxing stuff, so it's it's kind of easier to do it on that instead of the Thunder Gun or whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's great they're doing that. Um, and they actually say here, which is going to be very, very interesting, because they've said, in addition, some weapons are more powerful than the Tamer, and there are a variety of character builds that rival Glaze Infinite Magazine. So what's that now? Does that mean everybody's got to hunt for the new best meta weapon? Let's get it on, guys. Come on. You know, if, if if there's anybody in the comment section who's actually got a better weapon than the Tamer for DPS, especially against Colossuses, let me know, guys, because it'll be very, very interesting. So, yeah, um, they also go on to say here, because there's been a load of people moaning about, oh, I've done this mission 74,000 times, and it's got a 1% drop rate. Yeah, I've not got it. I get that. There's going to be people who, you know, do a mission a lot more than what the probability would suggest you're going to get a drop, and you're going to get incredibly unlucky. However, there's the reverse of that. The whole reason I play Volby is because I got water play on my first attempt doing the mission where you can get it, and it's, what, is it a 2% drop? So I was incredibly lucky. I know there's going to be people incredibly unlucky. That's the whole point of probability. It's not a fixed rate chance. It's just telling you a generalization of, yeah, if this mission is done 100 times, you're going to get it twice. But that doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get it twice in 100 times. You might get it twice in two attempts, you know, if you're incredibly lucky. Or you might not get it once at all in a 1,000 tries. You've just been incredibly unlucky. Because a lot of people have been telling me, again, I've never played an Exxon game before. I don't know anything about Nexon. I've never even played Warframe before. Um, 
I'm new to this kind of franchise. I love this game. I think it's incredible, and I'm going to play it forever. I'm not going to be like one of these YouTubers now where, oh, look, like Once Humans come out. There's a lot of people now playing Once Human. I don't care about any other game. I am fully addicted to this game. I don't know how long. I should imagine they're going to keep throwing content out. They've done very well to, you know, fix these, you know, fixes. I've got another video as well upcoming about the um, preseason content they're going to be adding in the game very shortly. That's incredible. The only thing which does concern me a bit is that I've been no life in this game and I'm nowhere near getting anywhere near the end of the battle pass. And even with no life in it, it's going to be like the... I'm not going to be able to do everything on the Battle Pass. That's kind of the only criticism I've got. Again, if you've got criticisms of the game, um, leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to read it and kind of give you my thoughts and opinions on it. If you are new here, guys, hit that subscribe button. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If we get 10 likes on this video, that would be absolutely fantastic and very humbling, guys. I'm kind of, I don't know, a bit thankful that I've gone away from Call of Duty. Some of my core subscribers have followed me across to the First Descendant. Honestly, guys, you won't regret playing this game. It's absolutely fantastic. Yes, it's a grind, but it's a looter shooter. I like grindy video games, and a lot of people do like grindy video games. Um, so, yeah, big thank you to the First Descendant, these kind of looter shooter communities. A lot of people who played um, Warface are now commenting on my videos. So, big thank you to everybody, you know, um, for accepting me into your community, so to speak. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Another video coming sometime soon. Don't know what about, but we'll find something to talk about. All right, have a great evening. Take it easy, my friends. Goodbye for now.